Hello, hello, and welcome to the Innovative Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Isolde Trachtenberg, and I'm thrilled that you're here. Thank you so much for being here. Today's episode is brought to you by Brain FM. You've heard me talk about this app. I love the app. It helps me focus. It helps me meditate. It even helps me sleep. I use it to be productive all the time, all day, every day. And you too can try it if you'd like. You can also get a 20% discount if you want to try it. If you go to brain.fm slash innovative mindset. And you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, it might be innovative mindset podcast, please head to the link in the show notes if you want to go there and get the app and get the 20% discount. I, I apologize in advance for telling you the wrong URL if I did, but you can go to the show notes and that will get you to the right link. Please remember I'm an affiliate, so I will get a little bit of money if you decide to use my 20% discount. Okay, so I want to talk to you about collaboration today. I, when I moved to New York, I I had some friends, but really, I'll be honest, uh, they had their own lives, they were doing their own thing, and I really didn't see any of them. So I found myself in this situation where I needed to build community. And then, of course, uh, COVID hit, and that became kind of a non-starter. And if you know me at all, you know that I'm vegan. So I love supporting vegan restaurants in New York City. I go out as often as my budget allows. And one of the things that I decided as part of building community is, frankly, if you want to build community, start one. That has been my uh, sort of my message Really, it's been my mission in some ways. I decided that I wanted to build a community and I did, right? Here's what I did. I went to a Facebook page called Vegans of New York because I wanted to uh, work really mostly with vegans, I have to say. I, I believe in being as cruelty-free as possible and leaving as small a footprint as possible. So I went to a, a Facebook group called Vegans of New York and I went, hey, other vegans, are any of you writers? And if you are, how would you like to join a vegan writing group? And so I started the Vegan Writers of New York City Facebook group. And uh, it is it is created with the intention that we are writers living in and around New York City who meet to collaborate and help each other improve as writers and support different vegan restaurants and cafes in New York City. So it was a sort of a dual purpose, right? I wanted to meet other people who are vegan because frankly, eating vegan is much easier if you're eating with a lot of vegans. So so you go and you go to these great, and there are so many great restaurants, Peace Food and Beyond Sushi and Willow and PS Kitchen and Modern Love. There, there are dozens and dozens of vegan restaurants. And so we want to be able to support these vegan, vegan restaurants in New York City. And that's what we do right? We, we meet at different vegan restaurants to support them, but also we're building a community by meeting together and talking about writing and talking about how we can improve our writing. And we also do writing exercises and we share our writing for feedback at every meeting. And that's how I've built this community. And I haven't built it alone. I started it, but I decided that I was going to do something that I'm really interested in. I'm a writer. Of course, you've heard me talk about that. But also the other facet of this was that I wanted to work with other vegans just because, you know, first of all, again, cruelty free as possible, but also it's just easier to to work together in that way if we're all kind of on the same page. So we have a community of over 50 people now and various members of those folks meet every other week. And I've become a good friends with some of these folks. Uh, shouting out to those of you, you know who you are if you're listening. Uh, I've become friends with these folks and I enjoy them so much. And so we meet outside of our meetings and do work sessions and do other things that again, build that community. So it's building a community around something I'm interested in supporting and also something I love to do, which is writing. So instead of going, oh, there's no community. Oh, what am I going to do? Who am I going to collaborate with? I decided, you know what, I'm going to come come up with one on my own. And you can start a Facebook group about anything. So my encouragement to you is start it. You want to build one, start one. That's the best way to do it. Honestly, I'm just going to say it again. If you want to build a community about something, around something you're passionate about, or about something you're interested in, about something you love, start one. And one of the best ways is to go create a Facebook group and ask people if they want to be part of that group. And you're going to find people. I There are 50 
there are 50 vegan writers at least in New York City who wanted to be part of this group, at least. And I'm sure there are more. There are other places that you can do this. And you know what? It doesn't have to be that you meet live. We meet live, but you don't have to. I'm a member of a writing community in California, right? When COVID happened, I joined the San Gabriel Valley Women's Writing Group. That's another writing group in, in, there in California, in the San Gabriel uh, Valley, sort of. They're in and around L.A. Uh, anyway, Renee Camus, if you're listening to this, I'm, I'm, I'm shouting out for you because she's, she's the person who started the group along with a partner. And so I belong to that group. I, I've met Renee. I've never met any of the other folks in person. And I'm a member of the group, and I love being part of it. And when COVID hit, the, that's how I became a member, is they went virtual, right? So many meetings went virtual. And when they went virtual, Renee invited me to join the group, and I've had a freaking blast being part of this group. And in fact, I just did a presentation to the group about how to get to be a guest on a podcast. What are the steps that you need to take to be a guest uh, from the perspective of a podcast host, right? So, and I do this presentation to groups and, and other places. And that's another way to build those collaborations. You get to be on podcasts and you get to make friends and you get to build a community and you get to perhaps even collaborate. And here's, I'm meandering a little, but hey, I'm going to just say it. I met a woman who is a podcaster and she invited me to be on her show and she liked my story so much which makes me very happy that when she and another uh, collaborator of hers were writing, they were gathering an anthology. She invited me to be on the, be in the anthology to submit to the anthology. And I'm happy to say that they accepted my submission. So I'm going to be in, in a, in a brand new anthology that's going to be coming out relatively soon. I can't talk about what it is yet, but I'll be able to soon, but see what I mean? It allows that kind of collaboration they started this anthology and I got to collaborate with them and be part of it. I started the writing group and that's helping me build that community. And I'm going to say one other thing as far as writing or other communities that you are in or want to be in. I took a class along with some of my other Vegan Writers of New York City cohorts uh, from Gotham Writers at Bryant Park in New York City. And I talked about it on a previous episode, but here's the important part of it. Doug Katz, who was running that particular workshop, said, you know, the people in your writing group are your colleagues. As you grow as writers, as you grow as people who are doing this work, whatever the work is, whatever it is that you're interested in, the people who are also interested and fascinated by whatever the subject is are going to grow also. And together you you do form a cohort. You form um, a group and a community and you get opportunities to collaborate with one another. So when he said, you know, these folks are your future colleagues, I went, yeah, they are. And I'm keeping them, right? So that's another way to collaborate. You never know where this this fascination, this love for your topic, whatever it is, it might be writing, it might be dance, it might be, as I as I said it in the workshop the other day, speculative fiction about kittens born in the 1970s, I think I said, or something, or toys from the 1970s, I forget what I said. But whatever your topic is that you're interested in, you can build a community and perhaps even collaborations in the future as the community really gels, as it as it foments into something that you all work together in. You never know what kind of opportunities you'll get to work together and truly collaborate in ways that will be beneficial to all of you and beneficial to the world because you built that community, you collaborated, and you produced something, whatever that something is, that is amazing, incredible, and had never been done before. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to work with the folks in this writing group. And it started because I wanted community. I wanted to build it. And yes, it takes some courage. It takes asking the question, who wants to do this with me? And when they let me, when they went, yes, let's do it. Yeah, I have some extra responsibility. I have to do all the posting and I have to do the sort of uh, the debrief after the meetings and I have to remind people it's a small price to pay. It is a small price to pay to know that I and these other wonderful people are building community and collaborations around something that we all love, which is writing. It's thrilling to me. I cannot tell you how incredibly exciting it is to me to be doing that. Until next time. This is Isolde Trachtenberg 
for the Innovative Mindset. And I'm going to ask you, if you're liking these short episodes, please leave a review for the show uh, on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or any other place. Overcast, I think, maybe also allows reviews. If you if you know of a place where you listen to uh to leave a review, I would love it. And I will shout you out on the show. I will read your review out. And I would love it if you would. It would mean the world to me. Until next time, I remind you to listen, learn, laugh, and love a whole lot.